with have you ever used one of those baby filth on your face? Like, like turn yourself into a baby? I, was uh, through, uh, I, I had Snapchat. a friend of mine do it to me, yeah. I was flipping through Snapchat and like that one, just watching each one pop on me because it's funny. And uh, and the baby <laughs> one pops on and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'm like amusing myself with how realistic of a baby like, it, it takes me into. <laughs> I'm blowing bubbles at myself and shit, drooling. Dude, like, like, I like I'm, I'm the girl one. And I think the reason I did is because it face tunes you a little bit along the way. It they're makes like, you this, so goddamn hot. They're like, this is too. what you look like as a girl. And I'm like, I'd fucking do me. I had no idea how attractive I was <laughs> until I had a filter on my face making me look like a girl. Oh, dude, it's like like the, the filters are they're kind of ruining people's brains in a way. Like this was this is a couple of weeks ago now. There's, I guess, this filter on Snapchat that, like, I guess, like you're saying, makes you look young and attractive in a very real, like, a realer way than it's been able to do in the past. Okay. And, like, I saw because Dick Masterson was retweeting it and laughing about it, as he is wont to do. And it was, like, mostly these women with, like, the video starting with them with, like, they're, like, they're, they look like a, just a young girl talking. And then they turn the filter off and it's, like, all that age instantly. And they're, like, crying at their own old face. And someone, like, I saw someone be like, this is, like, literally Greek myth level shit of, like, losing your mind at the past being shown to you in a mirror. Like, like that's, it is, it can't be good to, like, it have even your own dating. internal perspective of yourself so warped by that. Like, because it's like the new mirror. Like, you, people, and then when you go to your social media sites, like, you just see the absolute best version of you. You know, and that ruins your expectations in the dating world for a lot of people, because then they're looking at people that they think they're too good for because they're not thinking about who they are. They're thinking about the person in the picture who isn't really them. Like, oh, what's so this by, in this scenario? Hypothetical you is using filters on your pictures and you're like, I want someone as good looking as hypothetical me. Like, yes. Yeah. They, people do that. And like, I'm not saying it's a conscious thing, but people definitely would. This looks just like a makeup tomfoolery thing. What is this? Are either of these women real? <laughs> yeah, are either of them real? I mean, yeah, is that, yeah, is that, look at, that's Is that Kyle. girl Kyle? That's me right now. Yeah. Yeah, I would totally. You're fuckable, that. man. <laughs> yeah, it just turned into a pretty girl, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good at that. I remember they did those on all three of us years ago, and like, it didn't work on me. I was still fat, and I was a fat, ugly girl. You have a beard. <laughs> I don't know. How does it work with beards? It took mine right off. Like, like it, took, it takes it, it right took off. Yeah, yours right off. Yours, is kind of, yours isn't as, uh, as long as Robust. <laughs> I don't know if it... You just don't keep it as long as he, he does. That's true, but it's also just not as robust. Okay. Yeah, so somebody asked me that. They're, like, they're like, why don't you do the minoxidil derma rolling? It's like, I like how it looks. Um, I don't want to um, derma roll myself every goddamn day and apply chemicals to my face. Yeah, uh, we've talked about that before, and I think we saw some study where it might have it had some adverse effect. I don't recall what it was, but I just have that in my head that bad don't do. You know what I mean? And so, mm -hmm. like, but but if you do that, if you derma roll your face and put that minox still on there daily, you will grow a ridiculous beard. I shaved yesterday, and I use an electric shaver, and at the end, I like. <laughs> Instead of just putting it straight back into its little alcohol caddy for cleaning, I tap most of the whiskers out in the sink first, which is white. It was an awakening how gray my beard is now. It, it was It's primarily gray. And I don't dye my hair uh, at, at all. I never have done it except for one time for a skit. But I've largely dye has never touched my hair. But my beard... God. It is the beard of a 90-year-old. It is so get some, get some just for men. Brush that shit on in. No, the I... gray's cool, man. Like that's good. <laughs> oh, I think I mean he hates it though. He's the one who doesn't like it. We like the gray. I think yeah. he looks like fucking Joel from The Walking Dead if he grows the beard. Yeah. Like, like, like that, that daddy looks coming in. And whenever <laughs> that unfortunate accident happens tomorrow on the road, you know, <laughs> you can, that daddy look is going to be in. You can Pedro Pascal your way to a baddie, as right. Brendan Schaub would say. Did you see that where his DMs got leaked? And it's just like, just cheating on his wife, like, like daily, oh, like, really? like, like, like just a man whore. Uh, they give him a hard time. Speaking is of DMs, really leaked, guilty I, or could it? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, like a thousand okay. percent. Yeah, he's talked about he's talked about it being a problem before in his marriage and seeking counseling and shit like that. And then his DMs just. I, anyway, let's, do you let's guys do you mind. guys look at TikTok at all? If you if not, you need to look before. No, it gets I don't have one. Like the next no, nah, I go on YouTube Shorts. I don't let the Chinese into my uh, 
uh, so there's purview. this TikTok creator. I think she's on Shorts and Instagram as well. But she looks like uh, what is that stupid uh, Wreck It Ralph movie? You remember like the 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 girl that is played by Sarah Silverman in this film? No, anyway, she mm-hmm. looks identical to her in real life, and she works like Starbucks and makes these lip sync videos. Mm-hmm. They're pretty terrible. Um, but she had a video that went viral where she did her makeup in a day. She is, she looks nothing like that. Like literally is fucking insane how transformative makeup can be. I mean, it can probably make me look like a skinny person, but the (laughs) fact is like some of these women do not look anything like the way they do with the way they present themselves. No, forget filters and everything else. You know, you see the, uh, yeah, like makeup itself is ridiculous. The, the, do you see that like maybe like a Korean or Japanese like there was this motorcycle influencer that was like had oh, a bunch of yes. followers for posting pictures of herself riding bikes and looking all sexy and hot and yeah. it turns out that it was literally just like a 45 old year old 50 year old Asian dude with long hair and so the only part of the video that was somewhat real was his long hair and it came out without the filter, and it's just a a, oh, a middle aged Asian it. man's face. Zach, please. Should, and he had he had millions of followers. Of apparently, well, as a motorcycle guy, this like caught my attention. Fifty. Yeah, he man. he just posed as this like super hot, totally fuckable chick who's into motorcycles, which I think is a thing that happens in video games and in guns sometimes. You're like, oh, she likes what I like, isn't she amazing? Look at that. That's <laughs> with him without a filter. Same Damn. person. Yeah, technology. And the thing, and the Chinese age far. really well. So that's probably an 85 year old man. Hmm. He's 102. Mm. Yeah, that I mean, hair looks exactly the same. The guy, the guy conditions. He, he does nice have hair. Good hair. Yeah, he's yeah. got a good hairline as well. It's a good hairline. You know, I see this guy. This guy saw lemons and made lemonade, and probably <laughs> made a pretty penny from it. So I think this he, entrepreneurial there's spirit. No way to monetize that shit. I don't know what things are like in Asia. I've never been. You know, um, who's the alpha male or sigma male? You probably know him. He's like a, he's like a ten pack. He's not real. Are you talking about Giga Chad? Yes, yeah, Giga Chad. Giga that's Chad. what I'm going with. I wonder if he's Kyle. monetized. He's talking about Thank Giga Chad. <laughs> yeah, Giga Chad is what I'm going with. <laughs> you know, sometimes you go close. And they the sigma male guy is the one that goes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Giga Chad was able to get rich with his persona. I have no idea. Is, is that a real guy? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like Eastern European or something, I think. <laughs> yeah, Derek, Derek tracked Eastern him down and went to sponsor him, and he just doesn't look like that at all. Oh, There's a been like a, a lot of examples of that, right? It wasn't there one that went viral on Instagram, a creator that literally didn't exist. It was all like digitized CGI. Really? Oh, holy shit. Yeah. There's and a, then like it came out, it came out that she didn't actually exist and she gained followers from it. She didn't lose followers mm-hmm. as an influencer. She became a more powerful influencer because people were just like, wow, it's kind of neat that this person doesn't actually exist. I mean, there's an AI deep fake OnlyFans page with tons of followers. Uh, I was I was like watching a video about it today. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know who, who follows that, but it's not even a Who's real running that? person. I don't know. You you have a company a running like, like most people have a management company do their like handle their OnlyFans comments and stuff like that. When it gets to a certain size, if you're going to deal with that volume and like still do yeah. like, ha- like like something to at least organize for you and be like, all right, you owe this many videos to this many people and like, you know, categorize everything for you. So that, I, yeah, saw, I saw I saw a cat. I, I saw a leak come out saying that like a lot of like Indian people were doing um customer service for OnlyFans sections like in like when you hmm. dm the girl or like yes. pay to, to talk yeah. to the girl then you're just like actually talking to some dude in india and that's totally. the most depressing shit in the world can you imagine some dude yeah. paying like 50 bucks to get a dick rating from some girl he's obsessed with on the internet and it's just yes, like it is, oh, uh, you really, uh, very good very good dick like your dick <laughs> that's crazy how much this is, is a really like that good uh, penis that you have in your pants <laughs> and i very much want to you know to, to be stroking it for, for you i will do whatever is the necessary to make you come <laughs> i am going baby you believe me you're so sexy to me <laughs> and it's a uh, hakesh or whatever his name is on the other no, line stop. <laughs> <laughs>